ring, 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 Mercury retrograde is calling again. Yes. <laughs> if you are already experiencing miscommunications, feeling like you're talking over all of your words, things like that, right? Okay. Delayed communications. You're seeing a lot of traffic, feeling like people just can't drive. You're already feeling the Mercury retrograde pre-shadow period, okay? Let's go ahead and dive into the deep. I am Anissa, also known as the Spiritual Mermaid, okay? This is Your Soul Awaits, hashtag Your Soul Awaits to be awakened, okay? If you would like to know more specifically what Mercury retrograde has in store for you this time around, go ahead and book a reading with me with the link below, okay? Check out my other services. I offer personal one-on-ones, astrology readings, love readings, pendulum questions, massage therapy, you name it, okay? Again, all of those details are in the description box below, okay? I just have a lot of notes here written down for you guys. So if you see me kind of looking this way, I'm just reading my notes, okay? Um, this Mercury Retrograde, I channeled a lot of different energies for us, okay? So, yeah, as we always know, Mercury Retrograde is never here to play, okay? But it is truly a time for review, okay? Any retrograde is a time for review. The planet, the realm, the astrological body is asking you to review what has happened? What is going on? What changes can you make? Where are you maybe spending too much time of yourself at work? Can you spend more time, um, you know, doing this thing at, you know, arrangements, organization, structure, all of that good stuff, okay, is a theme, okay? Now, this Mercury retrograde, Mercury is currently in the sign of Capricorn, okay? Today is December 4th as I am recording this video, okay? Mercury is in Capricorn. But it's kind of like a ping pong game is about to happen, okay? Because even though Mercury is in retrograde, we're still feeling that Mercury in Sagittarius energy a bit, okay? It's still waning. So even though Mercury is in Cap, we're still feeling the Mercury and Sag energy a bit. So we're feeling Mercury and Sag and Mercury Cap energy right now, okay? Not only that, let's take it up a bigger notch, okay? When Mercury goes into retrograde on December 13th, okay, he will spin backwards, right? Because retrograde means that the planet is going backwards in motion, okay? He will swing backwards, and on December 23rd, which is one, two, two, three day, okay? We just had 1203 days, so 1223, that's also a pivotal day, okay? It is another portal date that I um, mentioned in my Sagittarius video. Uh, check that out, okay? He's going to be back in Sagittarius on the 23rd right where he just got out of okay and then he's gonna stay there up until i believe january 1st 2024 that is the whole mercury retrograde transit period okay so again we just went through the mercury and sagittarius transit now he's in capricorn but then he's only in capricorn for a few maybe a week or so really like 10 days um maybe like 10 days or so because Mercury just got there. So it is 10 days between him going back into Sagittarius, okay? And then we'll be back into Mercury Sagittarius energy, okay? So, of course, you're probably wondering, what does this mean for me? So being that Mercury is going to swing into Sagittarius, okay? Even though he's in Cap right now, he's going to swing back into Sagittarius. Again, like I said, it's like a double entendre right now. Both of those energies are in the air. So you want to check your Capricorn placements for those of you guys who are watching this before Mercury retrograde even Hits, okay, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all my supporters, my watchers. I appreciate you all greatly, okay? For those of you guys who are watching this before the time, though, um, you will be able to really see this transit play out in the different energies between the Mercury and Capricorn versus the Mercury and Sagittarius, okay? Now, Mercury is going retrograde at 8 degrees, which is a Scorpio degree, okay? Remember, Scorpio is a fixed sign, okay? So, the fixed signs will definitely be feeling this Mercury retrograde energy the most, um, as well as the cardinal signs because Mercury is in Capricorn right now. Capricorn is a cardinal sign. If you do not know what the cardinal signs are, the cardinal signs, y'all, I have Leo placements. So, if you just see me mess with my hair in between time, please don't, don't mind me because I'm a Venus, Mercury, and Leo. As we talk about Mercury, okay? <laughs> I love the transparency with y'all. I'm just showing y'all uh, the way astrology works, okay? As above, so below, so below, as above. Um, apologies, though. <laughs> Capricorn is a cardinal sign. So our cardinal signs are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, okay? Our fixed signs are the signs of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, okay? So being that this Mercury retrograde is at 8 degrees, which is a Scorpio degree, which is a fixed sign, 
I'm definitely going to say this is going to be right now the time of the the cardinal signs and the fixed signs. Heavily the fixed signs and then the cardinal signs definitely for sure just because Mercury is in cap. Now once Mercury swings back into Sagittarius, uh, okay, that would be the mutable signs, which is Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, okay, and Pisces, okay. So here are some of the things that I... Um, channeled okay as it relates to this mercury retrograde transit okay so obviously we all know the main theme of mercury retrograde is miscommunications okay when we say miscommunications this could be maybe oh no i thought i did this i did tell you about that and the other person's like no you didn't i never did it and then you may go and check your messages and see that the never the message never sent right it saved as a draft or it failed or you just never sent the fucking message right miscommunications okay um typing an email out and they're saying one thing and then but you just talk to them about something else it's it's, it's kind of like a blur thing that happens you feel what i'm saying this is what brings about this miscommunication because remember mercury is the planet or the realm or the astrological body okay of communication communication thinking intellect short distance travel okay commerce and exchange just to name a few Okay, but remember that Mercury rules that third house, and Mercury is the ruler of the sign of Gemini in Virgo. We just had a full moon on 1127 in the sign of Gemini, okay? That energy is also still waning and very prevalent, okay? Now, um, there will be a lot of changes to your professional life, the way you see it or the way you approach it, okay? You're going to be reviewing your different boundaries, your structures, okay? Uh, delayed communication about finances could also be a thing. Remember, Capricorn is a sign that is also very big about their money, honey, okay? All the fucking earth placements are, but definitely the signs of Taurus, Capricorn, um, Leo, for sure. I feel like these are your, in Libra, these are your very luxurious signs, darling, Okay? Now, uh, like I said, discipline and structure will be a theme, reviewing how you want to show up in the public, okay, thinking of changing careers, changing professions, okay, these things can be a theme right now. Capricorn rules the 10th house in astrology, which is associated with your reputation, your career, your public image, okay, your social status, right, how, how um, you show up in the public, okay, being that Saturn is the astrological ruler, of the sign of Capricorn, okay, Saturn is that realm of structure, discipline, boundaries, okay, limitations, karma, okay, so that energy right now is is, is what will be a theme, um, I will say be very mindful of the thoughts that you are telling yourself, that you are replaying in your head, it don't matter what sign Mercury is, that you should always be mindful of this, but definitely while Mercury is in Capricorn, just because Saturn, okay, he does bring up those limiting beliefs, he does bring up those limiting doubts, okay, any limitations that you're placing upon self, okay, Saturn is going to bring that energy up. Now, um, Saturn is currently in the sign of Pisces, okay? He went direct maybe about two, three weeks ago, okay, if it's been that long. But Mercury isn't, I mean, excuse me, not Mercury. Saturn is in the sign of Pisces, okay? Also, which is bringing up those subconscious doubts, subconscious limitations, okay? Subconscious worries. All of that right now is literally coming up, okay? All of that is coming up. It's a theme. I do have a Saturn in Pisces video. I highly recommend you guys to go and check that video out, okay? Because it is a theme for us all, okay? Now, Spirit says, while well, Mercury retrogrades in Capricorn, then going back to Sagittarius, Spirit says, how can you challenge yourself, Right? To think and move more freely, become more optimistic, okay? Reviewing travel plans and journeys, okay? When Mercury was in Sagittarius, which was just a few days ago, okay? Um, you may have noticed that certain thoughts that you could have had, okay? Where you, you find yourself being pessimistic or not really looking at it in the way you should. Now you're being challenged, right? To expand your mindset, to expand the way you see things, to expand the way you're thinking about certain things, okay? This is definitely still a theme while Mercury is in Sagittarius. That's Mercury retrograde also, stumbling over your words, little stuff like that. That's Mercury Sagittarius. That right now, that's, this is Mercury retrograde working. You guys are seeing it in the flesh, okay? Um... Because Sagittarius is a very optimistic sign, okay? Remember, everything that Sagittarius touches, it expands on, okay? Sagittarius is are ruled by Jupiter, okay? Jupiter is currently in Taurus and retrograde, okay? 
he gets out of retrograde, uh, I believe, the end of this month. The end of this month in December, if I'm not mistaken. And then I believe Uranus retrograde ends in January. Definitely highly recommend you guys watch the Uranus and Taurus video if you have not. Because a lot of those predictions did play out. Okay. Um, but Sagittarius being a very free spirit, okay, loves their freedom, does not like being tied down, does not like having to, you know, stick to a lot of societal norms, okay? I can look at Sagittarius as also a bit of a rebellious side as well, even though the rebellion goes to the sign of Aquarius, darling. But again, we are in the age of Aquarius, so if you know, you know, right? Um, all the truths that are being poured out, okay? A lot of people think Aquarius is a water sign. Aquarius is actually an air sign, okay? Remember, air cannot be contained at all, okay? doesn't matter what you do. You can't control and con contain the air, right? So Aquarius, the rebels, baby, gotta love them. Gotta, gotta love them. Remember, we are all 12 signs of the Zodiac. If you do not know your placements, please click the link below to book a birth chart reading with me, okay? Um... They're only about $40, but, but listen, the birth chart readings are worth it. They are over an hour long or usually about a full hour long. Majority of the time, they're definitely about an hour long for sure, about an hour and five, ten minutes. So, but anyway, okay, you, you get my free basics astrology legend, which helps you with learning your own chart and just learning about the signs, the aspects, okay, the degrees, all that good stuff is in there. The different modalities and quadruplicities, the elements, all that is in there, okay? Um, and I actually go through your placements. I talk about the houses. I talk about what you need to work on, what you need to let go of, what you're here to do, what's your purpose in this lifetime, your karma. I, I, I go deep into all of that, okay? So if you are someone that wants to know yourself more, you're ready to dive deeper into yourself, you want to learn more about, you know, why you're here, your placements, your, your true purpose, your destiny associated with this lifetime, okay? Your karma, your trauma, things you need to heal from. If you want to know that and actually want to be able to keep up with these different astrological transits that are happening I highly recommend you book a birth chart reading with me, okay? Reviews, I have plenty of them. Check them out because your girl don't disappoint, okay? Um, I'm here. I'm a light worker. I'm here to bring you back to your truth of yourself, your soul, raise the vibration of this rim, okay? Enlightenment, awareness, this, this is what I'm here for, okay? Let's continue to move forward. Now... Of course, again, Mercury retrograde brings miscommunications, delayed communications. It creates chaos on the roads to highways. It increases in accidents. Speech can be all over the place, talking over your words, unable to communicate clearly. You may hear from certain people in your past slash past career slash work opportunities may come back into the present. Now, let's talk about the people that come back around because when Mercury retrograde happens, a lot of people do notice that they may hear back from certain exes or they may hear back from... You know, that one friend they haven't heard in, in a long time, right? Or, or something of that nature. Or you may run into somebody that you haven't seen or heard from in a super duper long time, right? All of that is 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 a retrograde energy thing. I won't just give that to Mercury because I feel like in, during, any Mer during any retrograde, okay, I have personally seen and analyzed where there's different people from the past that come back, okay? Whether it's a Venus retrograde, Neptune, it does not matter, okay? So... Being that if there's people, let me say this, and let me, let me, I want y'all to understand me and hear me clearly, okay? If I had the glasses on, I would take them off, okay? For those that know, they know. Listen, anybody that is coming back around, okay, these people are coming back around for you to close out some sort of cycle that you guys are in. Okay, maybe this is somebody that you're always on and off again with them, on and off, on and off. It's come back around, you need to go ahead and wish it never ever. Guess what? Next retrograde, they're gonna be back around, or next Venus retrograde, they're gonna be back around. You don't you don't wanna keep doing the, the dancey dance, okay? So close out these cycles, okay? Um profession as far as career and professional life, especially because that's definitely what Capricorn is the sign of, okay? You may have some different career opportunities come back around and swing it back around for you. These are here for your benefit, okay? Remember, to, if weigh your options. If you feel like it's a job that's coming back and, hey, they're offering you more money this time, there's more perks, the management has changed, and, hey, go for it. If you feel like that's what's aligned with you, okay? You should really only be taking opportunities that's aligned with your soul and your spirit anyway, okay? We, the Matrix jobs, they're, they're crumbling anyway, Okay, don't even get me started on that, y'all. Um, 
But you know, take the take a moment to review these things. Remember that during retrograde, it's also not best to start any new contracts, okay? Or start sign up for anything new. I only recommend you move forward with contracts and stuff if this is something that has already been uh, like pre-planned, like it was already laid out, you've been working on something for months ahead of time, or, you know, it was a trip coming up, whatever, things like that, I think that's completely different, okay? But if you just sign up for something and you're starting it, you, you should be very mindful, okay? And you should also read the fine print to the finest of the finest of the finest extent, okay? Because you can sign up for something and you don't realize what you're signed up for until it's too late, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's any fees associated with something. Maybe it's not what all that you thought it was. Maybe it's like only a two day free trial and then they start charging, you know, just pay attention to the things that you are signing up for. Okay. Any contracts, any new connections, new relationships. I would just, just flow right now until Mercury retrograde is over. Um, and we're going to be flowing until January. Remember that the new, the real new year starts, okay, in March during the spring equinox Aries season, okay? So although we're going into 2024 in the Gregorian calendar, okay, the new year really does not start until March, okay? So from December 13th, which is coming soon, okay, all the way until January 1st, Mercury retrograde energy is going to be in the air. And remember, you can feel any astrological transit depending on your vibration and how high you are vibrating your frequency, okay? You can feel these energies weeks before, days before, and even days after, weeks after, okay? So just because Mercury stations direct on January 1st, July 24th, that don't mean all of the Mercury retrograde crap is just going to dissolve and, and go away. It does not work like that, Okay. So again, be very mindful of your communication, okay? Be very mindful of the things that you are telling yourself, okay? Um, I feel like a good thing to do during this Mercury Capricorn, Mercury Sagittarius transit is to really sit with yourself and, and focus on your dreams and your goals and your aspirations, okay? What is it that you really want, okay? How do you want to be seen in this world? It's not that it matters how anybody sees you, right? Because it's, it's you at the end, the beginning of the day. This is your journey in your life. However, though, we all have a TikTok's place and we all have, we all are always out in the public, okay? Some of you guys are creators. Um, you know, we're all creators. We're all magicians, right? But a lot of you guys are creators. You create content, okay? You're always in the public image, okay? How do you want to be seen? How do you want to come off as, okay? What is it that really sparks you? What really ignites you? What really makes you happy, okay? Um, what is that job that you could do? That, that brings so much passion to you and it gives you the freedom and it's financially freeing for you. It's financially stable for you, okay? This is what that Capricorn Sagittarius energy is, is asking right now, right? What can you do differently to give yourself a, a bit of a spark, to shake things up a little bit differently in your life, okay? To bring in some more excitement, some more joy, some more optimism into your life, okay? What, what can you do, okay? As Mercury is in retrograde, or even while Mercury right now is in the sign of Capricorn, you want to check your Capricorn house, okay, your Capricorn placement, your Capricorn degrees, any uh, cardinal degrees that you also have, and you also want to check where you actually have Saturn at, because Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn. Remember, Saturn is currently in Pisces, so if you actually are somebody that knows astrology, you can take it up a notch and even see where the Saturn and Pisces transit is happening for you. Remember, astrology is nothing but a huge equation. It's just an equation, and it's, the equation is not hard. It just takes knowing having the right teacher to teach the equation. Okay, that's that's all it is, truly. Um, because if you have Mercury and Capricorn right now, and let's say you have that in the third house, okay, which means that you are a what is that Scorpio Sag Cap? Let's say you're a Scorpio rising. Okay, Scorpio is your first house, Sagittarius is your second house, and Capricorn is your third house. Okay, so that's eight, nine, ten. Okay, eight zodiac, nine zodiac, ten zodiac. Okay, so your tenth house, excuse me, I'm just tenth house, Lord and mercy. The tenth house is the house that Capricorn rules. Um, your third house is Capricorn, so this means that Mercury is at home because he's actually in the third house, the, the house that he rules over. Okay, but he's in that sign of Capricorn. Okay. And so you have Mercury and Cap in the third house, but let's say, um, hmm, 
I'm trying to give you guys like a really good example. If you have Mercury, if you have Capricorn in the 10th house, okay, Mercury is currently transiting, not in the 10th house, excuse me, y'all, Mercury in the 3rd house, Mercury retrograde is pre-shadow period, is pre-shadow period, okay? You have Mercury in transiting your 3rd house right now of Capricorn, okay, while he's while he's currently there in the skies, that's what the transit means. So he's over your 3rd house. You could be focusing more on your mindset. You can connect, connect it more with your siblings, connect it more with your cousins, okay? Focusing, something could be going on with your hands, your arms. Maybe, you know, you're, you're thinking about that. Maybe you're thinking about getting your nails done. I mean, something, something as small as that because Mercury, Gemini, the hands, okay? Fingers, okay? Um, just a small example. Now, with Mercury, you say, well, where do I actually have Saturn at? Let's say that you are a Saturn and Aries person, okay? So this means that this is actually in your fifth house because Aries will be your fifth house, right? Capricorn is your third house. Aquarius is your fourth house. Um, damn, I skipped Aquarius. That's what that was. <laughs> I skipped Aquarius. So your sixth house, right? Because your third house would be Capricorn. Your fourth house would be Aquarius. Your fifth house would be Pisces. Your sixth house would be Aries, okay? So let's say you're a Saturn and Aries, which means Saturn is in your sixth house, okay? But you're like, hmm, so what does this mean for me during this Mercury retrograde in, in, in Capricorn period, okay? You're going to pay attention to those two houses. You're going to pay attention to house three and house six because three is about your mindset, your thinking, your communication, your day-to-day -day travel, right? Whereas that six is about your work, health, routines, organization, right? So you may be thinking... How can I become more organized in my day-to-day -day life? How can I become more organized in my career and in what I'm doing for work every single day? Something just as small as that. You, do, you, do you see how the both of them too? Because remember, there's polarity in everything, right? There's always two sides to something. There's always two different energies. That's what's going on, okay? Again, the equation, you need one and the other. So you have Mercury, Capricorn, you have Saturn, and um, in Aries, but this is in your sixth house, okay? So those are the energies that's going to be very afflicted for you at this time, right? That you're going to be focused on, that you're going to be working on. And then you say, well, um, when Mercury retrograde goes, when Mercury retrograde swings into Sagittarius, this means that this will be my second house lit up. So you'll be focused on your money. You'll be focused on your values, your possessions, okay? You'll be focused on more materialistic things, okay? Love could also be a thing for you as well. Then you say, well, where is my Jupiter at? Because that's the ruler of Sagittarius. Maybe you are a Jupiter and Scorpio and Jupiter sits in your first house of self, Okay. So you're like, hmm, so what's really, what is this Mercury retrograde inside the terrace is going to be, okay, it's going to be over your second house and it's going to be over that first house energy. Both of those is what's going to be a thing. Now, remember also, any time that you have an astrological body, they're always in the sky, right? The transits as they're happening. Remember, there's a polar opposite energy to every zodiac sign. Every zodiac sign has a polar opposite, okay? You give off both of those energies because they're your polar opposite, Okay, you can't just take it away, right? So Aries, Libra, and then vice versa, Libra, Aries, okay? The Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Sagittarius, okay? Um, Cancer, Capricorn. So as Mercury is in Capricorn right now, you want to act, you can actually look at your Capricorn house and then backdoor and look at your Cancer house as well because these are the engines that's currently being afflicted for you right now. Is that, I, I hope that makes sense, okay? I know that makes sense. I know that makes sense. Um, certain things, certain memories may be coming back, okay? Capricorn is a sign that has a very tough upbringing, okay? A much more challenging upbringing. So maybe some challenging things that have happened to you throughout your childhood, throughout your upbringing, okay? Just throughout life could be coming to you. These things are coming back to the forefront to help you, to give you that strength to keep pushing you forward, okay? Okay? Let's see, what else do I want to tell y'all? <laughs> Let's see. I'm sure that Mercury Retrograde will be making some sort of aspects as well going on, probably uh, to Mars. I wouldn't be surprised if, if there were some different aspects going on to Mars. Mars is currently in that sign of Sagittarius right now as well. We have the Sun. 
we had Mercury, but we have the Sun and Mars. Both are in the sign of Sagittarius, okay? Having us very amped up, okay? Very upbeat, very jovial, okay? We wanted to explore, not wanting to be, you know, tied down and limited. We really just want to be free, okay? That's really a thing. Just just be free, go on adventures, and, and really explore. You know, that's, that's really Sagittarian energy. We are longing for the truth. We are searching for the truth, okay? Even when Mercury is swinging back into Sagittarius again, you can find yourself going down rabbit holes. You know what I'm saying? Of, of, of learning, of enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? Um, learning more about yourself, your higher self. Okay, connecting more to your intuition. Taking, you know, different psychedelics. Things of that nature is definitely a, a thing during the Sagittarius season, Sagittarius energy in general, especially with Mars being there. Um, so I would not be surprised if, if there was an aspect with that going on. And I feel like that would be a very positive aspect because it's the mind and the action coming together and uniting, which would be a conjunction. Okay. So, um, I'm very curious. I'm going to see if, if there, if that is a aspect that's going on because I actually did not write down any aspects that's going on. Nonetheless, just as you are going through this transit, okay, from December 13th to December, uh, to January 1st, 2024, and really up until this moment now, because a lot of you are already feeling Mercury retrograde, just remember to flow. Okay, don't 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 force anything. Don't force communication. Allow separations to be what they are. Okay. Allow yourself that time and that space to go into isolation mode, to go into hermit mode, okay? To really spend time and focus because Capricorns are very focused on their work and their business, honey. A lot of caps, majority of caps, 99.9% .9 of caps. Don't too much care about that love shit. Okay, most cap and it ain't to say that they don't want it, they don't care. Is is what they've been through though in life, okay? Their childhood, their upbringing that has them severely focused on that empire and getting that money right, getting their foundation right, right, correct? That's really what it is that Capricorns are um heavily focused on, especially people with Capricorn placements now. Okay, remember we all have all 12 signs of the zodiac in us. If you want to turn it up a notch and really see how this transit is going to take place in your life you really want to look at your solar return chart okay i do offer those readings as well your solar return is your birth year reading okay what is your year going to be from your solar return to your next solar return that's really your new year because that's when you came into the realm okay um you can't really have a new year in december if you weren't born you know what i'm saying you yeah you get it okay so <laughs> with that being said um Oh, man. You want to look at your solar return chart, y'all, okay? Your solar return chart will show you a lot more up-to-date insight and information about these transits, okay? For your solar return, you could be a Sagittarius rising, which means that this Sagittarius season is over your first house. The sun, Mercury, Mars, all of them were over your first house of self, really having you focus on the way you're viewing yourself, right? The way you want to show up, your appearance, okay? That outward, um, that first impression that you give to people, okay? The way you look. Changing something as simple as your hair. Changing up, you know, what, how you're dressing. That's first house energy, okay? That would be in your solar return, right? So, again, astrology is not hard, okay? It just takes the right teacher. It takes the right information, the right person to actually teach you the, the, the knowledge, okay? The wisdom, okay? Now, that definitely ain't going to work. <laughs> um, flow, though, at this time, y'all. Flow and, and really trust the process, okay? Trust what's being brought forth to you, okay? Certain things are coming forth to you so you can let it go, so you can release it. And then there's things that's also coming forth the way you can use it to your advantage, okay, and, and take off with it, okay? So see it for what it is, okay? Remember to express gratitude every day for all the things that you have. Remember, since Mercury retrograde is going on, when communication, you're communicating with people, just 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 be at ease, okay? Because remember, you have the awareness. You're conscious. Oh, you're consciously aware that there's a Mercury retrograde going on. You're consciously aware that there's something happening with communications, okay? Um, so because of that, take it day by day, take it one day at a time, stay in the present. Cause this is how you really control your reality. Don't start focusing on what's going on 20 years from now, just, just, just stay here in the present. Okay. Ground yourself, become more structured. Okay. Get more organized. Okay. Especially today, the moon is in the sign of Virgo, the, the sign of organization, analyzation. Okay. Analyze. What is it that you would like to do? How is it that you would really like to see your reality? 
okay? Remember that luck is always here on your side, definitely. Um, and make sure y'all follow me into the new moon in Sagittarius video as well on here, baby, because let me tell you something, that new moon, honey, best get ready. You best get ready, you best get prepared, you better get excited because it is going to be a beautiful one. Okay, remember, check your Mercury placement where you have Mercury at in your chart. Check where you actually have um, Capricorn in your chart and check where you have Sagittarius at in your chart. Sag the Mercury will be back in Sagittarius on December 23rd, okay? Mercury retrograde is happening on December 13th, okay, at 8 degrees in the sign of Capricorn. 8 degrees is a Scorpio degree, okay? Remember that the cardinal signs and then the fixed signs and then my mutable signs, you guys will be feeling this the most, okay? Nonetheless, everybody feels Mercury retrograde. Don't even matter if you don't know what Mercury retrograde is. We all feel it, okay? Uh, for personal readings, click the link below if this resonated with you. I hope that you gave me a follow. You gave me a thumbs up. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. And I'm sending much love, light, and alignment to you all, darling. Peace.